watch Bart in the same eyes again. I'm always going to think of Nancy now. I think that put Lucy <laughs> off. Now, as is usually the case, that episode is full of Bart doing things that of course, we'd never get up to on Blue Peter. Never, ever. So be warned, he's a little bit of a minxy. Now, with advances in technology happening so quickly, it is virtually impossible to predict exactly how television will look in the future. But what is certain is that the way we watch TV will be nothing like the way we do now. Even 10 years ago, no one had heard of widescreen or digital TV, and the World Wide Web was science fiction. So, what can we predict? Well, the sight of the family all gathered round the box may soon be as outdated as the remote controls we use to switch them on. At the moment, the picture on your screen is made up of 625 rows of dots. In the future, these dots will be replaced with plasma screens and the quality of the image you see will be crystal clear. Televisions may become voice activated. Turn them off. <laughs> and part of the furniture built into walls like this one, they could be linked up to screens in every single room. Which is good news for telly addicts, because TVs with hard disks like computers will allow you to record up to 1,000 hours of programmes. You'll be able to record more than one channel at the same time and to start watching a programme while the end of it is still being recorded. Portable TVs like this will become a thing of the past. A portable TV in the future may look something like this. Oh, hello you two. And you'll be able to watch your TV wherever you want. And when you've had enough, you can switch it off, roll it up and take it away with you, just like a newspaper. And you can unroll it when you want and look at it again. Very clever. And it's just possible that in a few years' time, we'll be watching TV in quite a different way, in three dimensions. Now, 3D viewing has actually been around since the 1950s, when some films were made in 3D. But for it to work, you needed to wear special glasses like these. But that is all changing. Yep, in the future you can forget the glasses as new 3D techniques will make it seem as if everything you're watching is actually inside your living room and that you can reach out and touch the action. In your lifetime you will completely control the way you watch and use TV. That is cool, I want one of those. It is cool. But you know, Katie, I fancy a bit of a change. Go on then. Change to Scottish Highlands. It's impressive, isn't it? Because whole TV walls we made possible, allowing you to create the environment you'd like to be surrounded by. Off. Right, mm -hmm. I fancy something different again. Already? Yep. <laughs> Change to Sun Soap Beach, please. Oh, now you're talking. Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh yes. yes. Gorgeous. And all with the click of a oh. finger. Lovely. Mm. Although we can only guess at what's going to be in store. With hundreds of channels to choose from, one thing is for sure. You will still be able to watch the best show on TV. BBC One, please. And now, live from the moon, celebrating 100 years on TV, Blue Peter. <laughs> Oh, I would love to present a show from the moon. That would be <laughs> just so, so cool, sure, yeah. Are you in that buggy? Never. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Now, when TV first screened football in the late 1930s, the picture was so fuzzy you often couldn't see the ball. No good. So BBC bosses suggested that the Football Association should use a white ball like this to show up more clearly on the screen. And they all agreed, and we've had white footballs ever since. But girls, do you know what sort of colour football they use when there's a bit of snow on the pitch? Yes. Oh, you do? Yeah. That is very <laughs> yeah. impressive. Very good. Oh, that's me. Now, if you were watching on Monday, you'll have seen details of our major new footy competition. Major. A competition that looks forward to 2006. And we've got some fab prizes up for grabs. Oh, yes. 24 lucky Blue Peter viewers will win the chance to travel with Sir Bobby Charlton and Michael Owen when they fly off to Zurich in July. They'll be trying to persuade FIFA members to bring the 2006 World Cup to your doorstep and they'll start in the video presentation to the FIFA official.